Hello, boys and girls. Hello, Miss Janelle. I am so excited to be in Heartland today. Me too, Miss Leslie. I cannot wait to learn more about Jesus today. Me either. Last week, the big idea was that the Bible is God's true word. Which is amazing because that means we can trust the Bible to guide us every day. You're absolutely right, Miss Janelle. How about we head over to Heartland and see what Farmer Joey is up to today? Sounds like a great idea. Let's go, boys and girls. Hello, boys and girls. I'm Farmer Joey, and I'd like to welcome you to Heartland. Here in Heartland, we like to sing songs to Jesus, hear about God's love, and learn from the Bible. Also, be a bit more like Jesus. Thank you for joining us today. Hey, how about you all stand up right where you are and give yourself a hand? Give yourself a pat on the back and a great big hug for tuning in to Heartland today. I really hope I don't get dirty. I don't want to get dirty, not this time. Uh, hi, Tina. Um, what are you doing? Oh, hi, Farmer Joey. I'm going over to Miss Sue's to help change out the flowers in her planter. Okay, well, I mean, that sounds like fun. Well, yeah, I guess. Wait, so why do you sound so sad? Well, I really don't like to get dirty. Well, you know, I'm sure Miss Sue will have gloves and an apron for you. I hope so. I really like my shirt and shorts. <laughs> and I don't want them to get grass stains on them. You remember what happened to my poor dress. <laughs> yes, I remember. Tiana fell and got your dress dirty. I'm sure you'll be fine. Okay, well, I better get going. I don't want them to be waiting for me. Okay. Bye, Farmer Joey. Bye, Tina. <laughs> Boys and girls, I think Tina is going to have more fun than she thinks, and she won't get dirty either. So while we wait, how about we stand and use our best singing voices to sing about God's Word? You know, boys and girls, every time we gather in Heartland, we're going to talk about the letter that God has sent us. And we can read it every day. What is that letter called, boys and girls? Bible. That's right, the Bible. I open my Bible and listen to God. He tells me what I should do. I know that he loves me. He hears when I pray. And all of his stories are true. Now let's be very still and quiet and see what the Bible has to tell us this morning. Good morning, Bible. Good morning, Farmer Joey, and good morning, boys and girls. You know, I believe it's time for our Bible fun facts. Yes, it is. And I added something new this week. Fact number one. I am one book made of 66 books. Number two. I have two major parts. The Old Testament 
which is about Jesus before he was born, and the New Testament, which is about Jesus after he was born. Fact number three, the book of Genesis is in the Old Testament and tells us about the beginning of the world. And number four, the most important fact of all, I am God's true word. Those are some great facts, Bible. But Bible, didn't we already learn about the beginning of the world? Yes, we did, a couple weeks ago. But remember last week, I told you that the adults are learning the same Bible verse and Bible story as our boys and girls. Oh. And this week, they're learning about creation, so I figured it would be a good reminder. Okay, yeah, that's right. So, Bible, what's our verse today? The Bible verse today is... Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. For you I wait all the day long. Psalm 25, verse 5. Awesome. Okay, boys and girls, let's practice our Bible verse this week. Also remember, you can practice it with all the adults here at church too. Ready? Lead me in your truth. And teach me. And teach me. For you are the God. For you are the God. Of my salvation. Of my salvation. For you I wait. For you I wait. All the day long. All the day long. Great job. Let's repeat that, boys and girls. <clears throat> Ready? Lead me in your truth. Lead me in your truth. And teach me. And teach me. For you are the God. For you are the God. Of my salvation. Of my salvation. For you I wait. For you I wait. All the day long. All the day long. Psalm 25, 5. Psalm 25, 5. Great job! Farmer Joey, this week, our story is from the book of Genesis, chapters 1 and 2. The book of Genesis is the very first book in the Bible and was written by a man named Moses. In the book of Genesis, we learn how and why God created the world and everything in it. Wow! Isn't this great, boys and girls? We get to hear this great story again. In the beginning, there was nothing but God. Then God did something amazing. He made the world out of nothing. On the first day, God created the heavens and the earth. It was dark. So God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God called the light day and the darkness night. Wow, that's so awesome. God made the heavens and earth and light just by speaking. Wow. On the second day, God created the sky. Then on the third day, he gathered all the water on the earth and made the oceans. After he moved all the water and after he created the oceans, this left dry land and God made plants and trees. Can you imagine, boys and girls, how powerful God is to create the sky and move all the water to create oceans? Our God is very powerful. On the fourth day, God put the sun in the sky for the daytime, and he put the moon and the stars in the sky for the nighttime. Then on the fifth day, he made animals that would swim in the water and birds that would fly in the sky. See, boys and girls, God created day and night for us and all the creatures in the ocean and in the sky. Isn't that amazing? The sixth day was very special to God. Mm -hmm. First, God made all the animals that would live on the earth. Then, the last thing that God would create was very special to him. God made people. Wow! That's awesome, boys and girls. That's how humans are created. 
by God alone. And this is God's word, and all God's people say, Amen. Amen. What a great truth from God's word. Thank you, Bible, for telling us how God created everything in the universe just by speaking. I don't know about you, Ms. Leslie, but I am always amazed at how powerful God is. You're absolutely right, Ms. Janelle. God really is powerful. Mm -hmm. Everything that is in this world, He created. Mm -hmm. Literally everything mm -hmm. before this world even existed, there was God. That's right. Boys and girls, that means God was not created. He was here before anything. God is eternal, and He alone has the power to create. In fact, God is so strong that he created this whole entire world from nothing. Mm -hmm. God simply spoke and there it was. Wow, Miss Leslie, how great is our God? What's even cooler is that God created everything for his glory. He sure did, Mrs. Janelle. And by faith, we believe that God created the whole world by his word mm -hmm. and that everything was created by him and for him. That's right. Hey, how about we go back to Heartland and see what's going on? Okay, sounds good to me. Let's go. Farmer Joey, I hope he's still around here. Farmer Joey, hey, far hey Farmer Joey. <laughs> hey, Dina. So, did you have fun? Hi, Farmer Joey. Oh, yes. And look, I didn't get dirty either. <laughs> See? I told you. I'm glad to hear it. Can you imagine how much fun God must have had creating everything in the universe? Well, I'm sure he did. So... Where is everyone? Oh, well, they're all over at Miss Sue's house. I came over to find you and Farmer Francisco. Oh, really? Why'd you need us? Well, Miss Sue wanted to see if you guys could come on over and help put the planters in the windows. They're kind of heavy. Oh, okay, sure. No problem. So are you going to go find Farmer Francisco now? I sure am. I'll see you over at Miss Sue's. Bye, Farmer Joey. Bye, Tina. Boys and girls, you know, I'm so glad that Tina had a good time. Well, I better finish up here so I can go help Miss Sue. But before we do that, how about we sing another song to Jesus? The mountains rise to touch the sky, their peaks triumph and stand. The forest creatures, big and small, all made by God's own hand. The oceans deep and rivers wide, their currents wild and free. The mystery of the depths below, our God, He holds the key. God created everything in the universe. His glory is everywhere that I can see. God created everything in the Sand to blooming flower seeds. The paint upon the maker's brush brings mankind to their knees. God created everything in the universe. His glory is everywhere that I can see. God created everything in the Sing a joyful song, God's wonderful design. God created everything in the universe. His glory is everywhere that I can see. God created everything in the universe. And I know He created me.
Now remember, boys and girls, all our Bible stories point us to Jesus. This week, we learned that God created the whole world just by speaking so that Jesus could rule over all creation. The big idea this week is this. God created everything in the universe so that we would have a place to live and rule over the land. So boys and girls, let's repeat our Bible verse and make sure you say it as awesome as you can. Lead me in your truth. Lead me in your truth. And teach me. And teach me. For you are the God. For you are the God. Of my salvation. Of my salvation. For you I wait. For you I wait. All the day long. All the day long. Psalm 25 5. Psalm 25 5. Great job! Now, let's bow our heads and talk to the Lord and repeat after me. Dear God, Dear God, Thank you for creating the world. Thank you for creating the world. And everything in the universe. And everything in the universe. We love you. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Now, for my favorite part, let's see if you remember how to tell those around you just how much God loves them. You ready? One, two, this is true. God loves me and God loves you. See you next time, boys and girls. Bye. Miss Janelle, I've had such a fun time learning about Jesus today and about how God created the entire universe. Me too, because it all is for the glory of God. And if God made everything for His glory, that means we are also made for the glory of God. That's right, Mrs. Janelle. Every part of creation is ruled by God because He created it all. Mm -hmm. Everything and everyone exists to bring Him glory. I love that truth, Miss Leslie. That is why the Bible says we are made in the image of God. Mm -hmm. Boys and girls, God wants everyone to know Him and to love Him. That's why we share the good news of Je Jesus, living a perfect, sinless life, dying on the cross for our sins, and raising back on the third day. When we share the good news, we let people see the glory of God. Wow. Boys and girls, when we leave church today, let's take the time to thank God for all the things He mm. created. That sounds like a great idea, Ms. Leslie. Boys and girls, we've loved being in Heartland with you all today. We see, we'll hope to see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.